Hi there, I am Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and today we wanted to talk about a word that gets confused very often and that's um, the word Wi-Fi and it's a confusing word because it's kind of grown to be synonymous with internet access and that's not necessarily the definition of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a wireless technology that is often used to distribute internet but it's not the source of most internet options that mobile travelers use so in today's video topic we're going to kind of discuss the differences between Wi-Fi and cellular because they're both wireless technologies that are used to get internet access on the road So what is Wi-Fi? And Wi-Fi is basically just a marketing term applied to a series of technical networking protocols, the 802.11 networking protocols. But behind the scenes, it's just a local area network standard that takes a signal from an from a upstream internet and then spreads it out of crown small area. Now, Wi-Fi is typically used to give a wireless network inside a home or inside a business, but uh, some businesses actually invest in spreading that signal out over a further area area by using different gear. So like at this marina we're at right here, they have an upstream connection to a cable provider or something, goes to their main office, and then it is beamed across to this Wi-Fi access point here. And there's about a dozen of these scattered around the marina to provide access to each little section of, of the space. Some RV parks and stuff have done the same sort of investment to share a network in a, a larger range. But a lot of others, they only have the Wi-Fi hotspot up at the front office, which means it's very, very hard to connect to it from more than just a few hundred feet away. In contrast to Wi-Fi is cellular technology, which we're all familiar with and have it in our phones and everything else. Um, but cellular is behind the scenes a completely different sort of wireless technology than Wi-Fi. It is designed to cover a range of miles as opposed to hundreds or even top out of a thousand feet of Wi-Fi. And it is being spread instead of by access points that are close to you, it's being spread from cell towers that are either placed on top of buildings or towering out on, on their own. Now, the cellular signal is still sharing and is still connected to the internet via wires that go to that cell tower connecting the carrier's backbone network that is then being shared out in a broader fashion. Um, in contrast to Wi-Fi, each carrier owns their own airwaves. So their cellular network is, is private to them and is not subject to interference. Whereas Wi-Fi is a public resource and every Wi-Fi network in the same area is competing for the same overlapping channels. All right, so that's some of the basics of Wi-Fi and cellular and the differences between them. Now, where it gets confusing is that they can be used interchangeably. So you have a smartphone, which uses cellular to place calls, and it can also receive data for like checking your email or even streaming video on the device. But there's also a feature built into smartphones called personal mobile hotspot, which essentially takes your cellular data connection, so you're connected to one of the cellular towers of your carrier, and then this creates a local Wi-Fi hotspot that you can use to get your laptops and tablets and other devices online. Now this isn't this, it's the same technology that a campground or marina might be broadcasting a Wi-Fi network over, but it's coming from your phone and then creating that Wi-Fi hotspot. So there's Wi-Fi being used in two different ways, one to refer to more of a public Wi-Fi network and also your private local area network. They both can use Wi-Fi. Now here's another example. This is a mobile hotspot on Verizon's network. They call them Jetpacks or MiFi's and other networks they have different terms that they might use. But this is kind of like a cell phone except for it doesn't have the phone feature. It's only dealing with data and creating a local area Wi-Fi network. Very similar to that mobile hotspot, personal mobile hotspot on your smartphone. This is just a dedicated data connection creating a small network within range of this device. So there's again another form of Wi-Fi and combination of cellular technology coming together. Now we make it a little more complicated. You've got also routers. So these guys are mobile routers 
and they can connect to they can tether directly to a cellular device and create a stronger local area network using Wi-Fi or even Ethernet ports. Both of these support that. So you can direct wire in a cellular connection. But both of these also have a feature that we refer to as Wi-Fi as WAN. What that means is that it can also use a Wi-Fi network, such as that provided by your campground, marina, or even if you're stopped at oh, a McDonald's or a Panera or any other place that's using a Wi-Fi network, you can log into that Wi-Fi network and then rebroadcast it as your local area network. So in that case, you're using Wi-Fi twice in both ways at the same time. Both taking Wi-Fi from a public source and rebroadcasting it as a local area network. I hope that helps make it a little bit clearer the differences between Wi-Fi and cellular and why you might get asked for clarification when you ask in any of the RVing groups or boat groups out there when you say, how do I get Wi-Fi on the road? People might ask, what do you mean by that? Because it really does mean different things.